Well, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Ken Busby, your cultural czar and member of the board of the Tulsa Symphony, and delighted to be here today for our musician moment. And today we're speaking with Yida Hu, who is a member of our uh, violin family. How are you, sir? Doing pretty well. How are you doing? I'm good. You're talking to me today, or talking to us today, from Dallas, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> What's the weather like in Dallas? Uh, it's about to rain for about a week, oh. so... Um... <laughs> Yeah, more of that. The, uh, all the trails going to be shut down, so not great news for me. But that's not yeah. good. No, because you do a lot of biking and hiking and so forth. Yes, sir. Yeah, try to be active and uh, you know just uh, be out there in the nature as much as I can. <laughs> uh, that's yeah. Well, at least we can. At least we're still able to do that. So we'll enjoy that when it's not raining so much. But we've been having some rain and colder weather here in Tulsa, so. Um, but anyway, I appreciate you being with us today and taking some time to share with us. Uh, you know, the whole point of these musician moments is just to let our TSO family get to know our musicians better. And uh, so a couple of things I want to know. First, uh, how long have you been performing with the Tulsa Symphony? Uh, I think I won the job um, three years ago, three seasons ago. Okay. Uh, but it's actually this season is, is actually my first full season performing with Tulsa. Okay. Um, you know, the first couple of years I was, uh, I moved away for a couple of uh, other orchestras in Norway and in Shanghai. So um, unfortunately I couldn't be back in the States, but uh, this is technically my first uh, full season with uh, Tulsa Symphony. So. Cool, cool. Uh, but those were great experiences for you. Right, yeah, absolutely. I mean, like a huge part of like being a musician, I think that's intriguing and attractive to me. Is, the, the ability to have this uh, flexible time, and, uh, you know, have the opportunity to like see the world, you know, so to speak. So sure, absolutely. Yeah, it's take some places. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Um, and you know, where are you from originally? Uh, China, Guiyang, China. Okay. It's in the central part of China. Right, right. And how long have you been in the states? Uh, a decade. Okay. Yeah, for this year, I think. Yeah. Um, do you have a chance to get back every so often? Uh, last time I went back was two years ago. Yeah, okay. I think, um, when, you know, that's, that's back when I had some performance opportunities in Shanghai. I think that was the last time I went back. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I try, I try to go back and visit, you know, um, as much as I can, you know. Sure. I don't have to here. Or... Sure, sure, sure. Um, obviously, uh, 10 years in the States and so forth, um, and you're in Dallas now. Uh, how do you like? Well, how do you like the states? But how do you like? How do you like Tulsa? Obviously, you like being with our symphony, so that's great. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, um, with, with the symphony specifically, it's like you know, I get to play some very extraordinary programs. You know, um, the the rehearsal process is always very professional and very interesting. You know, um, I love the musicians. I love the people. Um, they're always extremely, you know, welcoming and friendly. So it's always a great experience to, to, to keep coming back. And on the other hand, you know, the city, um, you know, I, I haven't really yet to get a chance to really explore as much as I wanted to, you know, since, you know, we have a pretty busy rehearsal schedule. And I right. The shuffle back and forth uh, between Dallas and Tulsa. Um, but, you know, first impression is uh, very good coffee, you know, a few uh, very good coffee. <laughs> Ah, you're down. speaking. You're speaking by by language. I love good coffee. So yeah, what's uh, what are some of your favorite local Where, places? Oh man, I can't I can't remember the names, but uh, there there are a couple like right across the street from the Symphony Hall. Uh, just oh right, right, right. Down there, there are Tepe more. Tepeca's right over there in the uh, Hyatt. Right, yeah, yeah. That's a good spot. As that's well. That's a good spot yeah. too. Yeah. Normally, it's just like I'll, I'll you know if I have some downtown, I'll probably just be reading in the coffee shop. So uh, that's. Uh, you know, definitely made in Tulsa. So <laughs> that's neat. That's cool. No, I like that. Um, so, uh, what, where all are you performing in the, in Dallas? Uh, I'm sorry. Where all are where where are you performing in Dallas? You're living in Dallas. Where all are you performing musically? Uh, yeah. Right now, I'm playing with uh, Plano Symphony and Irving Symphony, uh, Dallas Chamber, um, and subbing in a field. I feel other other organizations so just like keeping myself busy while like auditioning at other places as well so sure that keeps you really busy right yeah i mean which is a good you know transition now you know having a, a, 
abundance of time, you know, catching up on my reading, on my on my own study, and all that stuff. Sure. Um, yeah, it's good kind of good kind of a break. Absolutely. When uh, when when you're nor- doing just sort of more of your normal routine of performances and that kind of thing, what, do you do you find time for downtime? Uh, yes, because I mean, I, I, I try to embrace the positive kind of, or, or sorry, not positive, but like active engaging kind of rest. Well, that can be positive so, too. So that's okay. <laughs> right. So like, I would try to like take breaks between rehearsals or practices and stuff. I will try to uh, rest in a form that's uh, engaging, you know, whether it's, um, uh, reading or, or writing, you know, I try to, you know, so do the stuff that I really want to do um, instead of just like sitting and, you know, watching TV or something. <laughs> right. No, right. Right. The, the stereotypical vegging idea. And, uh, and, right. and we talked a little bit, but you like, uh, uh, you like biking. Uh, you do mountain bike. What do you like to do? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. And you do hiking too. Yeah. Uh, a lot of uh, mountaineering. You used to do a lot of mountaineering. Mm-hmm. Uh, Used to do a lot of rock climbing, uh, not as much now. Um, yeah, it's a uh, it's it's a huge part of you know uh, my life uh, and a great way to like be at one with with nature and you mm-hmm. know with a different kind of setting. You know, since we all live in the city, you know, it's a nice change of pace. Absolutely. Sure. Uh, did did you always uh, did you have you always uh... Rock climb, climb, uh, climb, mountain climbing, biking. Was that always what you just loved to do from a young age? Right. You know, I, I grew up in a, in a in a city in an area in China where it's like very, very, uh, um, you know, mountainy. You know, uh-huh. has uh, has a huge uh, difference of um, you know terrain. You know, mm-hmm. and so I grew up on mountain mountain climbing, a lot of caving. You know. Oh yeah. And once I came to the States, you know, I, I started doing a lot of, uh, you know, uh, climbing in Colorado and stuff. Um, and then I, I had the opportunity to have some sponsorship from, from a certain uh, sporting brand. Uh-huh. Uh, nice. That took me to, uh, you, know, uh, you know, many more places. Um, I've gone to, like, the base camp of Mount Everest in Tibet. And wow. I, I've done Kilimanjaro. I've done the highest peak of Scandinavia, uh, Golden Pig you know, a summit. Right. So like, the, those are just like some of the places that I was fortunate enough to, to, to visit and to, wow. you know, to visit, not to conquer. You know, it's not, sure. It's, yeah, right. But what an opportunity. Wow. Yeah. You've had a lot of cool experiences. <laughs> it's been very nice. I've been very, very lucky to, to have these opportunities. Yeah. So, so what got you interested in music? Uh, I think, um, you know, Norway has a pretty deep, you know, culture in, in, in classical music, you mm-hmm. know, visiting. Um, and I had some, you know, a long period of time to, to, to be able to perform over there. And it's, it's been a, um, one of the, one of my favorite countries to visit and to, to, to explore, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, it's been, it's been a, quite a journey, you know, for sure. Right, right. Um, because you, you came to music a little later in your life. And I just think that's really neat that you found it, embraced it, and have done so well with it. Right, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I actually didn't, uh, I did, I wasn't into music in my undergrad, you know, I was doing a double major. And then eventually choosing to do music is, is kind of a, um, just just embracing the culture, you know, like, like, like what we talked about, like the people of Tulsa, you know, like mm-hmm. the music took me there. Music um, is what, is our common language, you know, whether, whether you come from Tulsa, if I come from China, we can still sit down and play, you know, uh, uh, embrace the same piece of music and, you know, enjoy and share the same piece of music, you know, regardless if I speak English or Chinese or Cantonese, you know. Sure. Um, right. Yeah. That's, I think that's the beauty of it. You know? it, it is a universal language. Right. So you're going to share a piece with us today. Right, yeah, uh, I'm going to play uh, H.W. Ernst's um, The Last Rose of Summer. Um, it's, a, it's a long piece, but I'm, I'm just going to do... 
the opening and one variation so it might do that a lot. I, I imagine we'll just listen to anything you'd like to play for us. Um, <laughs> but uh, but that, that sounds great. Well, uh, I'll invite our audience to um, to sit back with me and, and we'll listen and enjoy your performance. And uh, uh, Yida Hu, I really appreciate your time today and thanks for, thanks for sharing with us and thanks for being a part of the Tulsa Symphony family. Yeah, thank you so much for your time and, you know, the, all the welcomes have gone from Tulsa. So. That's great. That's great. Well, you take good care. And we'll look forward to uh, talking with you again soon. And so we'll sit back now and enjoy uh, Yida Hu and uh, The Last Rose of Summer. Right. Take care Thank now. You. Bye-bye.